did not have sexual relations with this bed. I swear! YouTube was an up and coming video sharing platform in 2005 where people would just post whatever the flip they wanted. Alright, so here we are, one of the uh, elephants. It grew rather quickly and started the trend of what would be known as the viral video. Chocolate rain! He's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up, trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband. Because they this isn't a video just hating on the new age of YouTube, it's more so a video just looking back at the golden times. The age of YouTube where there wasn't all this fancy hyper edited content that tried to stretch out to 10 minutes in order to suck every penny from you. No. It's time to turn back the clock and take a moment to reminisce. And when we are finished with our journey, you can take a moment to ask yourself what was your golden era of youtube i would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel and let's go between the years 2012 and 2017 youtube saw over 1 billion new users every month setting a new record for this company but what was the reason for this explosive growth of youtube well we're gonna take a look at that it wouldn't be right making a video about YouTube without mentioning the great PewDiePie, who stood at the top of YouTube for nearly a decade. PewDiePie revolutionized what it meant to be a YouTuber, and he was a huge part of YouTube's huge success during this time period. But he wasn't the only one. Anthony! Anthony! You've just won Food Battle 2010! What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna go home and play with Pogs! You wanna come? No! Smosh fought with PewDiePie at the top of YouTube for the better part of four years on who could become the most subscribed YouTube channel. But instead of playing games, Smosh would instead make videos on the stupidest and dumbest ideas they could think of. He revolutionized skits on YouTube and did things that no one else had ever dared or thought of doing before. But a lot of people saw the rising numbers of YouTube as just a bunch of little kids who thought that Smosh was funny with their slightly inappropriate jokes. However, kids' channels were dominating YouTube especially in the early 2010s channels such as Fred that have been lost in time and who could forget the great annoying orange <laughs> hey get your paws off me mister what? oh hey what's up Annoying Orange was a staple of YouTube, and the creator of it was chuckling to himself in bed one night as he was about to sleep, thinking of the idea of fruits that could talk with their mouths. And the way this channel got popular, I mean, who could forget it? But you could not mention the golden times of YouTube without mentioning Minecraft. Minecraft itself is the biggest video game to ever come out, and on YouTube, it definitely showed. Minecraft brought millions, if not hundreds of millions new users to YouTube every single month. Minecraft was by far the most popular game and produced some of the most popular YouTube channels of all time. But speaking of gaming, one of the early pioneers in this industry was Vanos Gaming, who really changed the ways with his new wacky editing style and funny moments. <laughs> After Minecraft, there was Five Nights at Freddy's, who dominated YouTube and every single gaming channel on it for years. Even if it wasn't the most complicated game, Five Nights at Freddy's jump scares and hilarious moments as well as his deep story and lore brought so many people. Max, can you pretend like you're Morgan Freeman coming to kill me? <laughs> please, 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 please do that. I can smell you. <laughs> <laughs> One of the true OGs of YouTube gaming was C Nanners. Because you see, before there was PewDiePie, Markiplier, and these guys, there was C Nanners. And what separated him was his unique personality as well as amazing production in his videos. And this caused a new revolution to gaming. Old YouTube content was certainly legendary. And if you weren't there for it, you wouldn't really understand. I feel bad for the kids that have to grow up without these legendary moments in their life, but so be it. These are just a few channels and examples of what you old YouTube used to be. However, that isn't to say that the new content on YouTube is trash or that it sucks. In fact, it actually is better. Higher production, better editing, better microphone quality, everything about it is better nowadays. However, there's just something about those old times that just sit so fondly with you. Maybe it's nostalgia, or maybe it truly was just better. Guys, let me know if there's any other old YouTube legends that I forgot to mention or that you used to watch. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video. We cover interesting topics every single time, and have a great day.
You just won Food Battle 2007! What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna go home and watch Toy Story! Oh boy, Toy Story, can I come? Hell yeah! <laughs>